What is up, YouTube? It is now 8.30 o'clock, and the sun is set, so we are getting closer to these fall days. The days are getting shorter. I'm so excited to get on some fall fishing. It's going to be fun. Do I, I don't look excited, Reese? Do I look excited, Reese? Sometimes she, she just doesn't want to listen to a word I say. But it's a big night tonight. It is fight night. It is the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather fight, and I'm pushing Conor McGregor all the way. Maybe that dude is one tough SOB. I'm thinking that dude is gonna pull that shit off. As much as I want to be there at the fight, being rowdy, hanging out with the boys and watching the fight, I'm gonna go get on an early morning topwater bite. I think that sounds a little bit more appealing to me. Also, I'm gonna be throwing this bait in the morning. Check it out, I just picked it up today. Waboosh! Five inch topwater waking bait from Bullshed called the Bull Rat. This is it right here. Just picked that up the P.O. box today. That's, that's the Bull Rat, all wrapped up in its package. Looks real good. I'm gonna be throwing that in the morning. So, it'd be a, it'd be a pretty solid day. It would make my, make my day if I could catch one on the Bull Rat about another hour and a half to two hour drive and I'm gonna camp out pitch a tent and get up before sunrise and get on this topwater bite so enjoy the fights and I will see you guys in the morning in the kayak Alrighty folks, we're out here on the water and we got the bull rat by Bull Shad. Gonna start out throwing it around. Got some structure on the point, some timber. Let's see if we can find a fish that wants to eat. throwing this real, real tight structure. This bait's got troubles on it, but it's very, very weedless. I'm able to throw it right in the timber. It's got a good set-aside wobbling action. Bounce it right off that tree right there. Didn't even get snagged. Never thrown a rat before, but I'm just kind of reeling it slow, and you can twitch it side to side, just like that. I want something a little bit more noise and aggressive. Come up along a tree like this right here and just twitch it a couple times. Maybe get that big old reel come up and eat. That's a catfish. <laughs> that was crazy. I sit there, switched it, twitched it, paused it. The big old cat came up and hit that rat. Just started rolling on top of the water. I was like, that's not a bass. Got him in the net. Got him in the net. <laughs> Get that in the net there. The cat is getting the mouse. That was that was epic. <laughs> I, knew, I was sitting in bed last night saying, what if a cat comes up and eats this mouse? And look, 
First fish of the day on the mouse is a cat. It ain't a big old bass, but it is a cat. There it is. The cat got the mouse this morning. Ugly whiskers. It hit, never, I've had a catfish actually hit top water once in my life on a buzz bait. So that's the second time that's happened. That's pretty cool. First fish in the morning. Slimy old catfish. Well, already, well, already my friends, it was a tough morning out there on a topwater bite. First day throwing the rat, and I already have a lot of confidence in this bait. It is an awesome bait, the way it swims and retrieves. No bass connected, but we did catch one catfish, even though that was not what we are going for. It was pretty cool. It's the cat hit the rat. It really doesn't pick up here anyways until about midday when the sun comes up and these smallmouth get really, really active. So instead of pot paddling one way three miles, I'm just going to load the yak up on the truck as you can see and drive down a little ways on down the lake and put in and try and get on some more smallmouth. Or actually, find some smallmouth and some largemouth bass. Feels good to catch a fish, huh, Reese? A little small mouth. He's real dark. He's relating to rocks. When they get real, real dark like that. It means they're relating to rocks. That's right, where I caught them, right up in those rocks. Finally. Finally had a solid eat. I've been just kind of picking it up, picking up the tail and not want to eat the whole bait. Large mouth. Oh shit. Oh my god. That's a small mouth. Oh shit. That was a large mouth at first. Pretty nice small. Found him hanging out in the shade. Nice little small mouth. 14 inches. Good little keeper size. What do you think about that girl? Good fish? I'll take it. Something just swam at it.
swiped it. On the rat. Ratfish. Ha <laughs> ha. Boom. The guy came up and smoked the rat. That was impressive. <laughs> Midday topwater bite. Here you go, buddy. Back into the depths. Heck yeah. Not the size on the rat I'm looking for, but that was pretty awesome. How did he not eat that? He missed it. He jumped all the way out of water and tried to get it. Alrighty, folks. It is past midday. It is afternoon. It is scorching hot out here. My dog's hot. I'm hot. So we're going to pull off the water. Had a lot of fun throwing that rat around. It was uh, an excellent bait. Had a lot of confidence in it. It is super weedless. I was throwing that thing like in the thickest cover as I could and it was not getting hung up at all. So definitely check them out, bullshad.com. They got some awesome baits and a sweet rat bait. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And remember, the cat ate the rat.